So for this video, I'm continuing from where I stopped the last time and I'm basically taking it further by sharing three ways for you to create Instagram rules using Canva. Of course, let's get into that video. Let me start with the simplest of them all, which is what I call text-based Instagram Reels. And when I say text-based Instagram Reels, the core idea is that you create your content basically as text, and then you design the different pages, and then you animate those pages, and then you add soundtrack to them, whether within Canva or over on Instagram, and then you share that. Let me show you how that can be done. This is a six page text based Instagram reel, for example. What I've basically done here is to create the pages. This is five principles for making goal setting work for you. And I have page one, which is clarity, page two, which is challenge, page three, which is commitment, page four, which is feedback, page five, which is complexity. Now, depending on whatever your niche is or whatever your business is, you can literally just create five pages or three pages or four pages, depending on you. And if you look at this side of your screen here, you'll see that everything in total still amounts to about 30 seconds. Again, for this particular case, what you want to be sure of is your text does not go beyond your safe space. That is a critical point that you want to pay attention to. Now, of course, designing, if you want to know how to design your pages like this, you can check any of the videos on the channel. You'll find how to actually design your pages like this, all right? You can also adjust the duration of your pages. So you can adjust your duration here. So you can move this here and say you want this to only stay for five seconds. But my recommendation will be the shorter it is, the more engaging it is. So if this is 4.5 seconds here, you can bring it down to let's say 3.7. 4.5 here, you can bring it down to about 3.7. 3.7 3.5 so that way you have shorter time for it to run through it basically just runs through everybody reads what is going on very fast very speedily and they get everything all in a go also you can add transitions to your pages from here so in order to add transitions to your pages basically come here and then you'll find all the different transitions that you can use all right and then you can also come here and check your different transitions so you can check the duration speeds for your transitions you can adjust all of that that will be dependent on what you're looking to get with your video one of the advantages of making multiple page reels like this is it allows you to share tips maybe five steps to something 10 steps to something also create something like that okay so now moving on to the next level of complexity and this time around we are going to be creating a memes based instagram reels meme based instagram reels basically allow you as a business to show a little bit of fun side, a little bit of funny side, a little bit of comic relief, so to say. Of course, um, it allows you to also share entertainment content as well. How do you create that as a reels in Canva? Let me show you how that can be done. Well, since I've already selected this here, you can come to templates here and search for meme. Once you search for meme, you'll see a lot of options here. Now, I like this particular one here. So I'm going to click this and it's going to add it to my timeline. You can see right now it shows that this is basically 10 seconds in total. And this is perhaps maybe a video here. Now, one way to get this done will be for you to actually write maybe a fancy quote that you want to share with your audience so i'm just going to put a quote here and this quote i literally just pulled it out from one of the books that you probably saw in my background so it said the most experienced sales people sell experience that's all now how do we make that so here you want to zoom in here and then you want to write this as your name so in this case i'm going to write my name so as to show you how this is done and then for this part you want to put your handle so for that i'm going to put my handle here this is my handle so if you want to follow me you're very welcome and then you want to look for your picture so i'm going to basically go look for my picture here so i'm going to drop my picture here and you can zoom in your picture so that you have a way for people to see it a little more closely so this is your picture add your picture here once you add your picture you add your text again remember to keep your design on brand so i'm going to come here and then for this i'm going to select my text which is oswald that's my brand text and for this roboto is my body text so i'm going to select this here for this body i'm going to select oswald that looks a little bit very very different from what people may see but it's okay anyway so 35 is the size 
20. If you want to, you can increase it to 42. So that makes it a little more different from just um, a tweet. So this way, you know that this is actually designed. This is not just a tweet. Let me change this to the brand color, which is red. You can increase it. Remember that there is a window to what people can see so make sure it doesn't exceed that frame that you've created what you can do is you can come to more here and then install what this tool here called giphy so let me type selling i'm going to look for one that i can use the most so i'm looking for something that i can use to replace this okay so it's loading okay now it's clearer so you can see now it shows let's get ready to bundle the most experienced sales people sell experience all right now for our background what you can come to you can search for something like social media basically come to video and you look through all of these different options here and find something more interesting so you can drop it in the background and so that plays in the background and you see that is something playing in the background something else on the foreground as well but if you don't want social media you can use something else like selling you can use another text like selling and let's see okay this looks a little bit more interesting for me so you see this here this right here is selling and of course that creates a little bit of visual now if your background is too long what you can do is double click that background double click the background and then come to the top here and adjust your background a lot of times i like to adjust for parts that is very engaging again i want my entire slide to be just 10 seconds so i'm going to adjust it for the part that's very engaging so you see that is a little bit more engaging for the eyes great so now that this is done our entire video is now 6.5 seconds and you can drag it a little bit further that way you have a very interesting instagram reel based solely on a meme all right so now that you've learned how to create those two this third type of instagram reel is a little bit complex in the sense that the way i like to call it is embedded video instagram reels that is you're watching a video and inside that video that you're watching there's still a video placed inside that video now it looks a little bit abstract if you are thinking about it but this allows you to actually share tutorials this allows you to share um, tips um, especially if there's something on screen that you want to show or maybe there's a process to how you get certain things done this is how you get that done this is how you create that kind of video anyway let me go over to my screen and show you how you can create that all right if you're doing a tutorial to share record it and upload it into canva and make sure you only upload what you want not everything you recorded what that means is that you may need to edit it before you actually start creating your instagram reels so already i have a video to help you for that so you can check in the description of this video you'll find a video for that as well now how do you actually go about creating your embedded videos type of instagram reels well this is how i do it so i record my instagram reels like this i bring them inside canvas so you see this is basically the text now there are two ways that you can embed your video one of the ways to do that is to actually look for a phone frame frame of course you want to come to graphics and look for graphics here and if you can't find the frame right there you can choose phone mockup and you'll see a manner of phone mockup or if you want to you can actually exit the frame and then come down to where you find frames here and then search for phone so you search for phone and you'll see your phone frame which is the one you most likely find a lot and since you have your video on your page simply drag your video onto the screen onto the phone frame and it will automatically place the clip of that video within that frame uh, make your video more interesting what you're talking about in the video you can look for say i'm looking for canva if i can't find a video about canva can i find something a little bit more interesting so, okay so this here looks a little bit interesting i can put that in the background so that video continues to play in the background while this plays in the foreground your text which is going to be let's just type so you see just as i said if you want to make something like this ensure that you properly edit your videos and if you can if you want to edit your videos you can actually edit your videos in canva and then upload and download that video then you re-upload it 
by the time you re-upload it you re-upload it as a single video and you can now use that to actually place it within a frame and get this done of course if you want to know how to how to edit a video using canva i've already created a tutorial for that so you can check the channel or you check the card showing up on your screen right now it will take you to that video but of course make sure you finish this video before you actually go to that one all right so talking about the second way for you to create embedded video tutorials this is that the way i do it is basically this i come to my uploads so since i already have my uploads i basically just click on my uploads here and then rather than place it within a regular frame in canva i create my own frame for that video so i use shape and then i draw my shape around the video like this like this and then i take it to the back and then send this to back so now you have these two and then i choose position middle now i have this right here it's already settled you can come here and search for for something else so here you can type this right here and you can use this to call attention to let's say you have a call to action for your business and you can rotate it basically you rotate it 90 degrees like this and then you type your call to action right there so if you press t you can type your call to action so for this i'll say buy now let me just type buy now as i'm going to increase the button from there i'm going to increase to, to let's say about 96 so a way for you to decorate your background will be to search for animated shapes animated objects like this so what you can do is drag this down a little bit it's to the edge of your page and then go to this and then type maybe news and look for videos that have news effect news kind of background and then you can drag a video like this to the background that way you have something like that a world map that is rotating that will be very fantastic a okay, good this looks a little bit more interesting so with that you can see that something is going on in the background something is visible on the foreground as well something is literally moving on the foreground as well you can see that moving and you can see this by now or maybe it's follow i'm just doing that as buy now right now okay so it may not necessarily be what you want to put but you can see all of that moving right now so with this you can have so i can change the color of this from instead of that red to maybe a white so that the video becomes a little bit more visible and if you want to you can actually design it a lot more if you want you can still do it all depends on you you can design depending on what you are looking for so you see that it's already looking great so how do you add music to the video that you've just created now i'm going to go ahead and delete this particular page and for this particular one now i'm going to look for audio here and i'm going to use an audio that i've previously used which is this particular one here so i'm going to click it and then it adds to my timeline so now i can select my audio and click on the volume right here and then bring it down to something like three or uh, five so that it's just playing in the background without necessarily interrupting what i'm playing so let's hear that i just discovered so I just discovered that now in Canva you can actually tap. So you see, for this, I can drag my video, I can adjust so that it starts where i wanted to start from let me know in the comments below if this has been helpful to you if you have questions leave it in the comments below and of course some of the videos that i've created here you can actually find them in the description below i'm going to link all of them right in the description so that you can actually download them once again i am Dio samuel and this is other city to lead where i give you the courage and the necessary insights you need to lead your life and your business in the direction that matters the most to you if Instagram matters to you, I hope I've been able to provide design as a strategy for some clarity, for some creativity, and of course, for courage to you today. If that's all, go ahead and subscribe, like, and share. And if you want to learn how to edit your videos using Canva, I recommend you watch this video right here. And I'm going to see you in that video.